Hello, I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby. In the next two minutes, I want to help you avoid the two biggest mistakes that you can make when selling a second home in North Wales. If you're going to be selling your second home because you don't use it very frequently, make sure that when it comes to presentation, it doesn't appear to be unlived in. Second homes end up being sold with curtains drawn, blinds down, beds are unmade. Very often the heating's not on and that's a real bad one in the winter. Another really bad one we had where loads of flies were in the house, all dead on the windowsills and everything. These little things like this can affect the selling price by thousands of pounds. The good news is, is that if you make an effort with your presentation, it's not going to be disrupted by daily life of family occupancy. So once you've cleaned your windows, given everywhere a wipe down, do things like set the dining room table with your best cutlery and things. Leave out some flowers, even if they're plastic flowers, you can get some pretty good imitations now. Things like this to try and make it more homely and comfortable are really good. One time, I had a vendor who even laid out the wood burner for me, so I got there five minutes early and then got the fire going. Needless to say, the reaction I got was fantastic in the winter. At the other end of the scale to properties which aren't used very often are holiday lets which are booked out throughout the season. This means that when you've got your peak demand from people wanting to come and view the property to buy it, it's let out all week and they can't get round. Now one way I've got around this before is by actually asking people to book weekends stay at the properties and things like that and this has really worked to good effect sometimes. The other thing is make sure that when you are booked up your estate agent knows when your changeover days are and what times the cleaners have finished so that they can then conduct those viewings in that short window of maybe two or three hours. We even publicise those viewing times on our sales particulars so that buyers know in advance and can make arrangements to come at the right day of the week to coincide with the changeover. If you're going to be selling a property in North Wales that isn't your main residence and you'd like to have a chat with me about how to go about it properly, then the best thing to do is fill in the contact form on this page and we can arrange to have a quick telephone conversation or better still, come in and see me. I'm Andy Sanderson, thanks very much for watching and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye bye now.